Hey guys, how's it going? I'm going to go ahead and make another engraving video. This time we're actually going to be engraving a 7 inch uh, air cleaner cover for um, a Harley Davidson. And this is just a you know, piece of aluminum machined out. So it actually would be cool to engrave this type of material. It'll leave a nice curl for the video and so forth. Um, I'm going to go over the whole layout. Um, I'm actually going to be splitting it in half. And the reason we, why I'm actually gonna be splitting it in half, I actually wanted to match this. If you guys pay attention to this, you'll see the left and right just split down the hemispheres right here. So um, we are actually gonna be doing something similar to that um, on this. Now there's other options to lay this out. You can actually go all the way around or split it into quadrants. And I'll go over that on the video. Um, thank you guys for watching and uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you. Hey guys, um, okay, so I have my piece um, already mounted. Uh, this is the aluminum side air cleaner cover for the Harley Davidson. So all I did was mount it onto a piece of wood um, with some screws with a little piece of rubber. You can see it right there. It's no, no rocket science to it. And then one center bolt or screw. And so now we're gonna start laying it all out. Um, you know to make it more or less look like this down the middle of split the right left okay um, this is just mounted on a regular piece of wood guys nothing nothing crazy about it uh, nothing too fancy uh, the engraving vise is GRS graving vise low profile um, you can go check them out and uh, we'll go ahead and get started All right, so first things first, always wear your goggles. Okay, um, we're gonna go ahead and make a little border here to simulate this border. Even though this has the five holes, we kinda gotta just go around and then the round that way and break it up, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and simulate this border to have about that much gap all the way around here. So what I do, I just have this old compass I found a swap meet and I just uh, Mickey Mouse this on there nothing too crazy nothing fancy okay so sometimes where the screws are it's not gonna let you keep going um, bam so something similar like that nothing crazy put a little bit of cutting oil in there okay and Go ahead and uh, start on this border here.
Now we have the border done. So now we'll start doing the whole layout. Uh, we'll divide this in half and go like that. Any of the little metal burrs that you guys see, those will be repolished once it's all done before it goes to chrome. So we polish all our parts one time before we go to chrome. All right, guys, so now we're going to go ahead and start the drawing process of, of the actual scroll breakout. So there's two ways you can go about it. You can actually do the split down the middle, okay, just like that, um, just kind of more to look like this down the middle. Or <clears throat> you can actually, a lot of people would do is, you know, they'll start drawing it. And kind of, I'm just doing a quick sketch, guys. I'm gonna erase this, um, you know, you know, something like this, to where like the design just goes around, counter or clockwise, okay. And you could also do, so that's one way to do it. The other way to do it, okay, is to do quadrants. So you're gonna still want to do the down the line down the middle okay try to eyeball it it look more or less you know evened out okay or and then you could also do another one the other way so you have north east south west and you could split the design you know something like this you know i'll just do a rough rough sketch so you guys could see it we're not going to engrave it this way because we want it to match the derby cover that's existing so the customer's motorcycle matches exactly um you have the same kind of pattern on these parts okay so you could do something like that you know something just real quick so you guys could see it i'm just erase this afterwards you know <clears throat> so you guys could do this Obviously, I would draw it with a little more preciseness if we're going to do it that way. Okay, so then you have quadrants, you know, to north, to south. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to erase the whole thing. Okay, we're going to we're going to leave down the line down the middle, and you know, okay, wipe it one more time so there's no residue in there. Right, and what I want to do is try to mimic the actual existing derby cover so it actually matches or pretty close to matching. It will not be exactly the same because this one, like I said, it has the five holes for the derby cover. This one has no holes besides the hole in the middle. So what I want to do is try to mimic it as close as I can. Not it won't it won't be exact, but it'll be something similar. Okay, so I'll go ahead and do. I'm just drawing out the backbone and once we're done drawing the backbone then we could mimic it over to the other side now like I said this will be a little bit different than the other the other side but you guys will get the idea and the concept of it though Okay, so here's this part. So if we put this here, we'll see that we can't technically do that right in the middle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do just this one a little bigger, make that one the main loop, then a smaller one up here, and that one to kind of mimic that one, and we'll have one, two, three, one, two, three of those. So now we'll go ahead and do it on this side. Now, the way you go about doing that is you could actually take a measuring tape right or a ruler i should say and do it this way and you know find the distance okay it's like two and seven eighths then you come back over here and you mark two and seven eighths that'll give you that now another way you can do it is with a ruler. so from the center point you can go like that and then just mimic it over here that'll give you the backbone where it ends 
and here we can kind of have a distance so we're about so far distance there okay so you guys could see it more or less and then you kind of go the same distance there now what I want to do is try to have the same distance of that part of the backbone over here okay and same thing with this distance of that part of the backbone over there okay um, we also want to try to get that distance here even though we'll adjust it this is just to kind of give me a guideline I don't really follow the lines I actually just kind of draw them roughly to kind of give you an idea but it's not necessarily exactly where I have to engrave it might not make sense but if you see me do this you for the long time you will uh, get the concept after so another way to do it is you could take a measurement like this from there and boom there then you can go here and there then here and there okay um, could also go this way okay there and there stopping points so then you gotta figure out how you're gonna do the whole drawing here okay now you can always draw it on a piece of paper and transfer it you know with transfer paper or china white you know I personally like to draw them directly on the part and then as a guideline not as something that I'm actually gonna draw you know get exactly to the detail remember this is hand engraving so it's not um, anybody that thinks it's gonna be perfect um, you know you could get it as close as you can to certain things that doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna be perfect and by no mean guys uh, I'm always improving every year something different uh, not only about you know you know my my design or my try to get different things um, I am self-taught um, I do have classes about five times a year six times a year um, you're more than welcome to just uh, keep an eye on those we usually do uh, advertise them through Instagram and Facebook the Instagram is engrave underscore it um, and you guys will be watching this a little bit on there and you guys will be watching it on YouTube I appreciate all the subscribers and um, feel free to share it's always cool when people share stuff and Just kind of give it a look over. Of course, it's not going to be exactly like it, but you'll see that if you match this to this, it almost gives the concept that it's flowing at least in the same direction, both left and right, right and left. Okay? So. All right, so now that we have the drawing, I'm gonna go ahead and start engraving it and go ahead and um, check it out. Put some uh, little cutting oil. So we'll go ahead and All right, guys, now we have the cutting oil on there. We'll go ahead and start carving away.
now we have the whole backbone done on the left and the right of the air cleaner cover. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe this off. We're gonna get rid of all the marker lines and boom. So now the rest of it will be all freehand. So we'll do the left and the right and it'll be freehanded. Um, we'll move forward from there. Go ahead and oil that up. There's different ways to oil parts up. You can oil it like I do. Uh, a lot of people don't like that because it erases the marker. Um, there's a little ways that you can go about that just so you won't erase the marker. As long as there's no oil on the part, you will not erase the marker. So now we'll go ahead and uh, give that get that started here. If you guys hear the air compressor, I'll try my best to uh, talk over it if I have something to say. So if you guys pay attention here, these are some of the metal shavings that we got just from this part. And you could tell that it's, uh, you know, it's nothing really thin. It's actually pretty thick, the carved lines. So this is not, uh, that's why we say no chicken scratch.
pretty much got all the leafing done on the ends, on the inside part. So now we'll start doing all the fill-in removal. We'll start doing all this fill-in to get it all set up right. Another line right there you can see the metal you know it's a uh, it's carved pretty deep right there that will cut you
So now we got the bottom. We have the bottom and we have the center done. So now we'll continue filling in all the sides to the top. to the finish line guys almost so 
we'll just finish up these two scrolls and we're done with this piece. it up for this piece now this piece is ready to be dotted or filled in on the background and ready after the dots then it will be going to chrome Here it is. Okay. So if you guys if you guys look at this, you guys pay attention, you guys will see that it's split down the middle, the main scrolls. These two little guys, I made them a little bigger because we had these loops. And this one, we still ended up doing one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, five. One, two, three, four, five. So, you know, that shows you guys the comparison Obviously, you have a hole in the middle here, and over here you have that. The main point is to kind of make it look similar, not identical, but similar. All right? All right, guys. Uh, so that concludes that part of the video. Now, you guys actually can see it when I'm holding them up here closer. Okay? So that's the derby cover. All right? Down the middle. And this is actually the air cleaner that we originally had just polished aluminum. And you guys can see it's not a different one, okay? 
and you could see that it was done. So what I could do is I'll, I will uh, be dotting this and then getting it chrome plated. So you guys will see the finished product pretty soon. Uh, I will post a picture of the finished product on Instagram and Facebook. Um, but again, everybody, thank you for subscribing and checking out the video. You guys have a great day.